Hey pilot, Drain Man here and today I got a very special video. In today's video we are going to continue on with our jumper playlist. It's called How to Jumper and you will look for that logo right there when you see that you know that you're inside of the playlist and if you're new to jumper and you want to learn more about your jumper or you just don't know how to use your jumper or maybe you've had your jumper and you want to do some more cool stuff to it this is going to be the playlist for you and in this video we are going to learn how to get the stuff off of our old radio i am specifically speaking for radios that are open tx so if you just got the tango and you're over it or maybe you've got the Tango and you want to copy over. Maybe you've got the QX7, X9D, the X9, the X9 Lite. Any one of those radios that run OpenTX, but you want to get them over to your new jumper, this is going to be the video for you. Uh, uh. All right, pilots, let's dive right in. The first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to power up this radio and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna power up this quadcopter and I'm gonna show you that everything is working and doing its thing so this is my source one build uh, it actually has bite frost in it so it's not your everyday quad but that's okay so right here you'll see that my crossfire light is green and then right in here you will see that I have connectivity, I have telemetry, we are connected, we are bound, and everything is working as it should. So go ahead and power on your radio. Welcome to TX. And then you are going to plug this into the back of the radio, and then plug this into the computer. Now it is going to ask you if you want to access your joystick or your USB storage. Make sure that you select storage. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to file. If you followed along, then you would have uh, created different profiles. So we are gonna select the X9D profile, and then we are going to read the models and settings from this radio. If you are on a different profile, it will not want to read that card. So make sure that you do that. So as you'll see here, I've got everything from uh, Drain Man uh, racing setup to a Bandolero, Glide, Nova, Squirts, Twigs, Betas, all that good stuff, even down to the Source 1 that you saw. All right, before we go any further and we get ourselves in trouble, what I want you guys to do is I want you to go to Read Write, and then I want you to back up the radio profile. And then... As you already know, we are going to go into Documents, FPV, and we are going to create a new folder, and we will call it Radio Profile Backups. Select, select that one, and then hit File Name, and then make sure you pick a name for it. We will go ahead and call it Tyrannus. X9D and we will hit save. All right, so we have backed those up just in case something just so happens to go wrong, which I don't think that'll happen. All right, pilots, so now that we've backed up our radio models just in case so nothing goes wrong, what we will go ahead and do is we will unplug the Tyrannus and then we will go ahead and power up our T16. And then we are going to go ahead and plug this radio into the computer, bringing it up to our OpenTX companion. We also need to make the same selection and select the USB storage. All right, so now that you have it connected, you will go ahead and go into your settings and you are gonna switch your profile over to the Jumper T16. And it's gonna say, Currently selected radio type jumper T16 is not compatible with the file document from the X9D. The models and settings need to be converted. So we want to hit choose apply to convert the file or close to not convert it. Well, we are trying to convert it. So we will hit apply. And then you will see here all of the things that need to be converted and we will hit OK. Now we will hit 
read models and settings from radio and you will see here that all we have here is just this model one and that is what was on our jumper that is not what we want we want them all on there so i'm going to expand this so now i want you to go ahead and select your top model your first first model mine is the alien god and then i want you to go all the way down to your bottom most furthest model and i want you to hold the shift key and then press the left mouse key that is going to select them all for you then you are going to right click when you right click you are going to be given lots of different options now if you plan on keeping the models on your tyrannus then you are going to press copy if you plan on deleting them off of your tyrannus because you're moving them to your t16 and you no longer want them on your tyrannus because of whatever reason maybe you sold the radio whatever it may be you can select the one that says cut 27 models and what it's going to do is it's going to save those models to your clipboard and then delete them off of the Tyrannus. That is not my goal or my intention right now. I do want to keep them on my Tyrannus so I'm going to select copy. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit paste 27 models. Here we go. Wow that happened really fast. There wasn't even any load time. All right, so now we have all of them over here, and what we will go ahead and do is we need to get rid of this one because I have no interest in keeping that. And the next thing we are gonna do is we are going to close this out, and it's gonna say it has been modified. Yes, we wanna save it, we will save it. And now they are all here. We will read write, and we will write models and settings to radio. And now that you are done, you have completed this process. You can go ahead and demount your radio. All right, pilots, now I'm gonna throw my radio back up on here. I'm gonna give it a quick power cycle just to show you pilots that everything is the way that it should be. So we kick it on and if we, oh, you can already see it says alien God. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hold down our spin wheel and then we're going to go to model select and you will see here all of our models. Okay pilot, so my goal now is to show you the entire full circle and I will do that by powering down this radio. I will flip it over. We will pull out this false module bay because we don't need it. I will flip this over and sad to see you go, but this is just to show you guys that we were successful. I'm going to insert my crossfire. Looking good. We've got our module in and what we will do now is we will go ahead and power up this radio. And as you can see, Alien God, we've got power back here. What we'll do is we will go ahead and model select, and we are going to head down to the one source, which is the name of my Source One quadcopter, and we are going to select that model, and we're going to push that aside, and we're going to plug this in to show that it is working, and we have successfully moved everything over. And instantly, instantly, you saw here, and if you didn't, our telemetry popped up right there, letting us know that we're connected and everything is good. I could probably go as far as arming the quadcopter and showing that it works. All right, I've not changed anything. This is the arming switch that it was on the Tyrannus. Okay, I am rubbing a uh, battery strap, but as you can see, it, it was completely successful along with all of our switches being the same. All right, pilots, I've got fantastic news. You are now ready to rock and roll. Your jumper T16 now has all of your old models from your old radio 
onto your new radio and you are ready to go outside and fly. I would throw it into beta flight and just make sure everything is still correct. As you saw, I did a test on mine and it's working great. That's why I did that to show you that it's working. If you're following along in this playlist, go ahead and look for that logo and get on over to the next video and check it out. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one. We will conquer all the oceans you can name. Oh, we.